your time rolls around and I start dispatching or people start waking up or whatever it is. And I got a huge jump on the day. Uh, no, it just, it's, it's, it, it, look, it's the, it's the funny little quirk. Uh, yeah. the stuff you don't think about when you pick up and move, but pick up and move. I did. Um, I got out of Portland and we've been here now for about three weeks. I'm going to split my time between Portland and, and, uh, and Tennessee down here and off to a good start so far. It's cool. This is my, the, 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 the podcast room is serving also as my office. And so, uh, there has been lots of work done. I think, uh, from Billy had me up and running the day after we got here, give or take. Uh, and I've been working from here much more, uh, I've been working from here efficiently. And the cool thing is, is that, that working from here, uh, when I decided that I was going to spend more time, I was going to move this way, uh, and spend more time down here. uh, I thought that I would be more productive and I I, legitimately, I thought I did. And, uh, so far three weeks into it, that's proven to be absolutely true because again, I just sit in my office and I work all day and either I'm working in operations or I'm working on other things. Uh, but there's nobody to come bug me. Uh, mm. Billy s- sat with me for a thousand years. He knows that uh, you can't, I couldn't go 20 minutes without somebody uh, walking into the office, without somebody walking into my office uh, <laughs> as your phone or, rings, or, 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 or as my phone <laughs> rings <laughs> or me having to jump out. And that's weird. That's the other thing too. Uh, I'll get back to the, I'll get back to that in the time difference, but the phone ringing or, or somebody stepping into my office, and again, in, in my capacity, you have to talk to them. But what I learn or what I'm learning though, is that I didn't need to, but given the circumstances, it, it, it seems like I did. And, and like, I'm always saying life is all about lessons and you got to be willing to listen to them and, 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 and see them and hear them when they get there. And I would have argued with you prior to, Oh, this one's my mom. I got to answer. this. All right. Where were we talking about? Being able to, uh, or you'd argue that you didn't have to talk to. Oh yeah. So I would argue before I left that I wouldn't have to, or that I had to be there. Now there is, there is being there and then there is being there. There's two different parts of that. I don't have to be there to get most of the work done that I do, what I do on a daily basis. I got to be there to see customers. But again, in the age of COVID, there is no seeing customers. Mm -hmm. Uh, so I, I I don't have to be there for that perspective and, uh, working at, from my house takes some getting used to, I don't really particularly like it long-term. This is not going to be a fix for me as I go out and do other things. Uh, but for now it works very well as long as you stay, uh, disciplined, which I'm pretty good at and, and doing the work and then just having conversations with people as it comes up. Now there is certainly, and without a doubt, uh, a ton of value by just being there, the boss being there, the owner being there, being in charge. Uh, his presence is known. People know he's watching things of that nature that, that, you know, are taking place anyway, even from afar, but there's just, there's no way for me. Uh, I believe that you can replace the physical presence. I don't want to anyway. I got a bunch of other crap I got to do there. And like I said, I'm going to be splitting my time between here and there. Uh, but with that said, it's a learning lesson, just like anything in life. Uh, and this one, as much as any, I had a good idea this was going to work, uh, that I could work from here as well as I could from there. Um, I had a good idea that I was going to be much more productive than I was there, uh, when I'm here. Uh, and those two things have proven to be a hundred percent true. Uh, the, the, the weird thing is, is the hours. That's probably the thing that's got me screwed up the most. So as I sit here talking to you, I'm in <clears throat> what are we? It's six o'clock your time. Yep. So it's eight fifteen at night my time, uh, and I'm in hour twelve of working. Uh, if we count the gym, I'm in hour fourteen of working, uh, and uh, so it's easy for those two hours to get lost. And then, <laughs> as I sit in my office all day and just work and work, and I'm the type. I just work. I mean, I barely go to the bathroom. I just sit and work and work and work. And like I'm dispatching all this week because my dispatcher's on vacation. So I really don't get up and move hardly at all. So it's dark when I go in my room, when I go in my Mm. office, 
and then it's dark when I leave my office, except that it's only, you know, if I leave it at five, if I finish the, the day dispatching, like I did last night, and I got out of my office about five, five thirty, and then it's pitch black outside. Well, it's pitch black at three thirty, mm-hmm. my time. My time is Portland time because that's what the clock that I'm on working back in Portland. It's really five thirty. So you go out at three thirty and it's, you know, go out to go to the bathroom or something, and it's pitch black out in my in my bedroom. Uh, and I'm like, oh yeah, that's when I'm reminded. So maybe I'll get used to it, maybe I won't. Um, but the effect of it has been an additional two really the effect of it has been an additional two hours of, of work day for me. That's, that's, yeah. that's what it comes down to. Um, because I refuse to get up at four o'clock in the morning, uh, yeah. back in, 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 when I work normally in Portland, but now, uh, you know, I can get up at six o'clock, uh, get my workout in, start my work day. And by the time eight o'clock rolls around for you guys, it's 10 o'clock my time. Uh, and by the time 10 o'clock, your time rolls around and I start dispatching or people start waking up or whatever it is. And I got a huge jump on the day. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and so much so that, uh, you know, again, it's, 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 it's weird being on that six o'clock, that Portland time, uh, six seventeen as we, as we do this, but, uh, I've essentially picked up two more hours, uh, that I would not have done in Portland because I won't get up at four o'clock. 